An old old Madame Bovary has adapted in modern versions, one in particular. I've seen a little of it uh, yesterday. A little, but I dare say enough to, to um, have an impression. This is not uh, a professional critic, they're just personal opinions. So I'm not entitled to, uh, to assess the quality of acting of one actor or an actress or, uh, or the, the production. The, but I'm just, um, for what is worth, um, trying to uh, think what I understood from this film uh, and what I liked and did. Um, unless it's more the latter, I, I didn't really like it. Uh, starting with the with the no, no, lead actress, the one who needs to be towering over it all. I don't know the name. It, it doesn't matter. In fact, uh, it was not Isabelle Huppert. That's a wonderful a actress, and indeed, uh, this latest production suffers from. The comparison. When you, you now you see Georgia Constantine, an actor we have here, uh, uh, god like figure, or Isabella Jenny, the rest uh, come out suffering from this parallel. Uh, however, there were two good actors, Paul Giamatti, and the other one escapes me, the British actor. Who, who, uh, both of them are good, British one included, and their appearance in uh, supporting small roles was a waste, in my opinion, uh, for not even uh, the doctor, uh, the husband is is really uh, someone interesting, and. Um, so I was wondering why do they need to to come up with new uh, versions of, of of this great work? I mean, a masterpiece. I remember if if they don't have if they don't have a, a, a real new thing to say. True, uh, some elements um, were very good and these with some other aspects I probably didn't notice or uh, I dismissed, um, make them, those involved in the production, uh, show that they, they really will have a new, a new uh, and, and better uh, adaptation. It's a scene where they look for Madame Bovary when she's missing. And uh, there are some torches, and, uh, and uh, I was thinking now with the, the, the means, the, the high definition, I, I doubt this was 3D. Uh, um, and all the rest that they can use, uh, uh, new, better lenses, and whatnot, uh, indeed they can improve uh, some, some, some. Some of the images, but um, otherwise, it's it's not uh, at the level of Madame Bovary, who is a masterpiece included uh, in uh, the Guardian. I mean, the Guardian has it on its site, but it's the Norwegian book club, which asked a uh, uh, hundred writers and scholars from fifty-seven countries. Uh, about about the best books ever written, and Madame Bovary is there. And I remember a wonderful uh, professor of literature I had in high school, who uh, used to talk about Flaubert as about a god. Uh, in fact, I don't remember who else was there with Flaubert uh, for this teacher. He said Flaubert is one, and he mentioned two others. 
I don't think he mentioned Proust, even if Proust for me is uh, on a higher level than Flaubert. <laughs> Proust, more, and a few others are not, uh, are the best for me. And I also remember that uh, Flaubert used to say Madame Bovary, uh, he is Madame Bovary. <laughs> <laughs>